Hi, my name's Max and I'm the Auto Electrical Engineer at Wellhouse Leisure and I'm responsible for fitting the AutoWatch 695 alarm system on the Ford Terrier campervan. We're here today so that I can explain how this system operates. Arming the alarm. Once you have exited the vehicle, ensure all doors and the bonnet are properly shut and from the Ford remote key, press the lock button twice to double lock the doors. This will arm the alarm and it will give a single characteristic audible signal and single indicator flash after which the blue LED on the dashboard will begin flashing its arm sequence of a rapid triple flash followed by a long pause. The alarm takes 60 seconds to settle after which it then begins to monitor the doors, bonnet and interior movement sensors etc. If upon attempting to arm the alarm when a door or tailgate etc has not been closed properly, the Ford system will alert you to this by giving a quick honk of the vehicle's horn. Please unlock the vehicle using the Ford remote key and close the doors properly before relocking and arming via the Ford remote key. If the bonnet has not been closed properly, after arming the alarm, the alarm's siren will respond with a rapid double bip sound three times. Again, in this case, please disarm the alarm, shut the bonnet and rearm. To disarm the alarm, upon returning to the vehicle, a single press of the Ford remote keys unlock button or rear door unlock button will disarm the alarm. The alarm siren will respond with a double characteristic audible signal and a single long indicator flash and the flashing blue LED indicator on the dashboard will extinguish. Please note that unlocking the vehicle via the driver's door lock with the key will not disarm the alarm and in doing so will trigger the alarm. If for some reason you trigger the alarm and the siren begins to sound, please close all doors and tailgate etc fully double lock the alarm this is very important via the remote key you may need to wait for a minute and then unlock via the remote key to disarm and silence the alarm to omit the interior ultrasonic sensors when arming the alarm if for whatever reason you wish to arm the alarm without the interior movement sensor function first while sitting in the vehicle with the doors closed insert the key into the ignition and turn the ignition on to the main position where the dashboard lights come on and from here turn the ignition back off and on again steadily three four or five times until the alarm siren responds with a single short bip. You may now remove the ignition key, exit the vehicle, close all the doors and arm the system in the usual way but after the usual characteristic audible arm confirmation, a moment later you will also receive a short audible bip to confirm the alarm is armed without the interior sensors. You may arm and disarm the system any number of times now and the sensors will remain in their overridden state, but the next time the alarm sees the ignition turn on, it will return the sensors to normal operation the next time the alarm is armed. If for some reason your Ford remote key becomes inoperative and the alarm is in its armed condition, the only way to disarm the alarm is to gain access to the vehicle by unlocking the driver's door with the key, which will obviously trigger the alarm, and then by means of turning off and on the ignition you must enter the five digit PIN number supplied with the alarm. This is found on the front of the AutoWatch owner's manual. To enter this number, Insert the ignition key and turn on the ignition to the main position where the ignition lights come on. Now turn the ignition off then back on four or five times until the blue LED on the dashboard illuminates steadily. Now turn off the ignition and keeping careful note count the number of LED flashes to confirm the first digit of the pin and immediately turn the ignition back on. Repeat this for the remaining four digits Here in this example shown in the video a pin of 60759 is being entered
if the correct code has been entered, the alarm will disarm and the LED will extinguish. Please note that a zero in the pin is represented by 10 LED flashes. For any other information, please refer to the AutoWatch 695 owner's booklet and additional Wellhouse Ford alarm instruction sheet. Or if there are any other queries, or you require any assistance with your alarm system, please call me directly. My name is Max, and my telephone number is 07767838. 052 during weekdays, evenings and weekends. My telephone number can be found in the description of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. Goodbye.